So now that you have all of your settings, it's very important to understand how the bonus items are calculated when you have a category that's distributed by points. So a category distributed by points is this quizzes. This is worth 30% of the student's grade. You'll notice that one quiz is worth 40 points, one quiz is worth 30 points. So what I've done is I've distributed the weight of these individual grade items um, based on the points. I then also put the bonus item into this and it's worth a maximum of 10 points and the weight is 10 points. So what you have to understand that there are two contributing factors that affect the po total possible extra points the students get added to their final grade. The first one is the weight that you assign the extra credit item. The second one is the overall weight of the category where the bonus item resides. So the number of points for each bonus item is, is in a weighted grade book does not matter because the item is determined by the weight of the individual items and the weight of the category. So for example, in this example, my weight is worth 10%. The category is worth 30%. So what I all have to do is I have to think about how many points do I want this extra credit to be worth and that gets gets added to the student's final grade, that amount of points. I don't want to make it too much, I don't want to make it too little, I want to make it just right. So in that case, I would take this 10% and multiply it by the 30%. So 10% times 30% is 3. So 3 points. So if the student gets a 10 out of 10 or 100% on this extra credit, they will get 3 more points added to their grade. So let me show you this. I'm going to go ahead to enter grades. And in this particular case, you'll see train one. And when you look at train one, you'll see the final calculated grade, and you'll see the train one in the numerator. And that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm not going to necessarily focus on the percentage. I'm going to focus on the numerator, how many points are getting added to the numerator. Notice that the student has 36.33. So now if I go ahead in here and go to grade all, and I'm going to go ahead and give the student 10 points. If everything worked the way it is, what should show up in here in this weighted grade area should be 3 out of 0, meaning that the student gets 3 extra points because the weight of this grade item is 10%, the weight of the category is 30%, so that's 3 possible points. So if I go ahead and click Save, and then I click Cancel to take me back, that student should now have a 39.33. If I change the point values on this, then the amount of points, so let's say the student gets an 8 out of this. So in this particular case, that would be 80% times the 10%. So in a sense, it comes out to 2.4. So now the student will have 2.4 more points added to their grade book. So I always look at the numerator in this case in the final calculated grade. But now, let's now look and edit this particular grade item. Or, so I'm editing the grade item, and I'm going to change the weight from, from 10 to 20. What do you think is going to happen? Well, again, it doesn't matter what the point value is. It matters what the weight is. So if it's 20, it's now 20% 20 of the grade times the 30% for that category. That would mean that the student could potentially get six extra points for their grade. I'll go ahead and click Save and Close, and notice that it has changed because I put I have 8 here. I'm going to go ahead and enter the grades in here and I'm going to go ahead and give the student 10 now so they get a hundred percent on this. I'm going to click Save and notice that they get six more extra credit points. So what you have to keep in mind when you're dealing with extra credit points in a weighted grade book and and you're de putting those uh, weighted those extra credit items in a category that's distributed by points, the weights are distributed by points, is you have to take into consideration the weight of the extra credit item and the weight of the category. And that will determine how many potential maximum more extra credit points that student will get toward their final grade. And you have to be real careful with that because if you put, in, if you put it as a too much of a weight, then the students will get a higher, a more points. So you really have to think about it and then make the appropriate adjustments.